All right, guys and gals, this is Northman. We are okay. back with some more Tarkov. This time around, we're oh, talking about start a wipe and what all went down for me and what you guys should be looking at doing for yourselves. So, big thing to keep in mind is weapon jamming is a thing. Uh, first bullet out, actually, Cam had a misfire. I've had a misfire during the middle of a gunfight. Uh, there's been all sorts of um, times between Cam, Carl, and I that it's actually occurred, and it's... Uh, I like it. It changes the pace of a gunfight pretty drastically in the middle of a gunfight, and it makes it very interesting. A um, few other things to note is uh, Scav's uh, been hitting uh, shots or taking shots at a little bit more range uh, every so often. So uh, Sniper Scav up on White Tower and Customs, he's actually shooting down at us uh, when we're over by the train looking at gas so we don't usually get aggroed by him over there so that was interesting uh to note uh it's happened three times now so i think it's def uh, it's pretty consistent at this point you will get shot at uh if you spend too much time over there another thing to keep in mind is uh when you do have a misfire cam had it happen where the scav was alerted so it still is treated as if you shot at him as far as aggro um, so keep that in mind. Uh, he was pretty close, so it could be a, that there's a range to it. Uh, a few things. Uh, keys seem to be, uh, there's a few renamed. So like portable cabin key, uh, Tark the L Tarkov office key. Um, and then we've been running around doing all sorts of stuff, checking for the keys th for 310. Actually did get one of those on, I believe it was raid three. Gunfights have been awesome. Um, everyone's actually getting at it. Uh, we've had some of the best gunfights we've had at all time uh, at the start of this wipe. It's awesome. Um, Tagila has been quite interesting. Uh, I've only gone up against him in an offline raid, and he was definitely, definitely a killer. Uh, he had the mutant when I went up against him, and that thing demolished me. So keep that in mind uh, when you're going into factory. Uh, it's probably worth it to go in as a squad, try and ambush him from what I experienced and from what I've seen on other people's videos. So I haven't really hit too much on other new things. Uh, been a lot of just random items and overall doing pretty well on getting streamer items. We have seen General Sam's. I uh, haven't seen the loot plushie uh, for Mr. Uh, Aqua. But it's cool to see more of the streamers and content creators getting in there. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is uh, the changes to the traders. So a big one is uh, there's some differences in who carries what and at what level. Uh, so you can now get that pistol grip for the shotguns at level 1 Jaeger. Um, we all found them in raid though. Uh, Two uh, were on shotguns and then one in a crate. So haven't been too bad there. And yeah, a uh, big thing to keep in mind as far as tasks you should be looking at and uh, what to knock out first. Uh, you're going to want to go for that Jaeger quest real fast, real early. Uh, it's going to unlock Jaeger, which is huge. Then you can start getting scoped rifles, uh, sp specifically the VPO 216 uh, or it was 215. The uh, 366 TKM, uh, you can get the suppressor. Uh, I believe that was from Prapper or Skier already. So it's a good idea to get him unlocked, and then you can start uh, really throwing down on people with long-range shots and, and not giving away your position. Uh, then Peacekeeper is always my priority after that. Peacekeeper, um, uh, once you get him up to level 2, I believe he's going to have the ump again at level 2, which is going to be huge. And then also just... Uh, better equipment, better upgrades, stuff like that. Um, I primarily run the uh, more traditional USEC gear, so it's always good to go after that. Uh, also, keep in mind that if you're needing to do the uh, machinery key, uh, room 205, the jacket there, is almost a guaranteed spawn. It is uh, not always there, but I've seen up to four in that jacket at a single time, so definitely keep an eye out for that. And then uh, woods, when you're getting onto woods, uh, you've probably seen it in past videos if you've been watching my stuff. You're going to start looking at getting those 15 kills on scavs and woods. Uh, this is another quest that kind of gets wonky. 
just because of how many people are there. You're going to want to sit in, uh, get a suppressed bolt gun like the uh, 366, and then just sling rounds from a distance, try and keep yourself in cover because other players are going to be doing it too, and they're going to come running. Uh, we've experienced it a couple times, and it's definitely interesting. Uh, right now, people are being a lot more aggressive than they normally are at the start of wipe, so uh, definitely keep your eyes out for that. Another uh, kind of good item to be watching for, or good thing to be watching for, is all your stuff for your uh, hideout. So you'll be seeing throughout all of this video, uh, at times I find something I need for a quest or for a hideout upgrade, I immediately stick it in my gamma. Uh, that's good practice, just keep doing that. If you die, you can still use it for your hideout, or if it's for a quest where you need to build something, go ahead, throw it on the gun, build it. Anyways, uh, just wanted to... Th get a quick video out to you guys it's kind of showcase in the first couple of days and we'll have more content to you soon uh the final big thing i would say is uh keep an eye on metabolism actually you don't need to go in and do uh bring food into the start of a raid to replenish uh if you replenish in your stash it will increase metabolism for you so that's a awesome quality of life improvement and i really like that a big thing is that everyone does is when you're bringing in that food at the start of raid you forget to eat it and then all of a sudden you're in the middle of a gunfight with no energy or hydration and it sucks so go ahead and do that before you ever enter the raid and i hope you guys are having fun with the wipe let me know down in the comments below any other changes that you guys have noticed and or are enjoying and we'll have some more stuff to you soon Oh, I, fuck, I got a malfunction. There we go. Which way are you going to go? I'm at garages, essentially. Oh. Got it. Got it. You good? It was a fucking okay. player pretending to be dead up here. Second one. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs>